Hey, Dusk here. You looking to play technician? I got a few tips for you. First, let's talk about the items you can craft. The first and cheapest item on your crafting wheel are the pills. You can use these to heal yourself or pass them to your teammate. This ensures that you can always stay in the fight. For this reason, I really like to take the brawler ability with my technicians because I can put down my turret and while the fiend is distracted with my teammates, I can shoot them with the turret and punch them with the empowered punch attack for some pretty decent DPS. Next up is the proximity mine. This one can be a little tricky to use because it does friendly fire you can hurt your teammates if you're trying to actively kite the fiend through it. Now, sometimes you just really need to do damage and that's your only option, but really the proximity mine's best use is area denial. Is the fiend always trying to disappear behind an object or spawn in behind an object? Put proximity mines in those areas to punish the fiend for going to spawn out or spawn in. Which brings us to the last item for the technician, the flamethrower. If you want to do direct damage to the fiend, the flamethrower is your weapon of choice. Again, it does AoE damage, so you can hurt your teammates, but this thing does a lot of damage to the fiend. What you're going to want to do is just feather it. You just want to go up and click just like a single burst of fire to set the fiend on fire and then back off because they'll take dot damage. And then when the fire goes out, you run out and you tap them again, and you can do an extraordinarily high amount of damage if you're doing that while also shooting them with the turret and then periodically punching them. And last but not least, of course, the base toolbox. And now let's talk about the toolbox and the turret. The turret, pretty easy to use, but it's also easy to destroy. So often what you're gonna wanna do is hold down your placement button and you're gonna wanna try and place it either out of the way or up on some boxes where the fiend is gonna have a little bit of difficulty getting to it, or at least where it won't get hit by spider venom by accident simply because they're spraying venom at you and your team. And last but not least, the ability to barricade doors. Well, it's pretty obvious that this is going to stop a fiend who is in physical form. Many new players may not realize that it also blocks the fiend from moving in when they're in predator mode. An invisible fiend cannot move through a barricaded door and they'll have to find a different route around, which can drastically slow down a fiend's ability to engage your team. That's going to do it for this quick guide on technician. Let me know in the comments if you want to see some guides on the other classes as well. Also, don't forget to check out my sponsor, Rogue Energy. And if you want to support the channel, check out my Patreon links in the description below. And thanks for watching.